steps of my key. You know, there were things I'd blocked out pretty good. It's a form of survival when you're a kid. When trauma's so acute, you can't stay in that moment because you you break and you never come back. There's no way, no way that kid could ever forgive me. Very few people will have experienced the depth of pain, betrayal, horrors. How many know about being afraid where it becomes terror? The Victor Mark story. He's an honest person who loves people. That's his calling, are the broken people. I know what God can do in their life. I know he can redeem what the enemy has meant for evil in their lives. I know it. Not only believe it, I know it. All right, everyone, welcome to this episode of Idleman Unplugged. It's going to be the Fast and the Furious. We're going to get Victor out of here in time, and I actually have to be at appointment as well. But we want to talk about... Um, something that I know is near and dear to both of our hearts, many Americans out there, especially with actually people in the whole world with this movie out, of course, Sound of Freedom. And uh, you actually, I don't know how many people know this, but you know, you're Victor Marks uh, and what you do uh, has a lot to do with the same thing. You're going yeah. to different areas and you're rescuing these children. I met you about a year ago at Turning Point USA. Uh, and then we're speaking, both speaking there again in San Diego. Yep. And uh, just the moment you started telling your story, I know me and my wife are just captivated because mm. that's what we need. We need that strong masculinity. So, um, yeah, give us give us a little background. I know. I mean, we could be here a couple hours on oh, you know, gosh, how, yeah. how, how you were abused as a child and yep. you've been open about that and that kind of that that brokenness fueled your passion. I would yes. And yeah. so, and here we are today. Well, and and it's proof that God could redeem what the evil one has meant. Right. And, and an early point i decided i didn't want to be a victim you know and i didn't want to be a, a just a survivor but i want to thrive not just there were these you know words yeah. create worlds Absolutely. and being victimized is a reality for many of us but to stay a victim is very dangerous and uh because that impedes healing but yeah i was uh physically emotionally sexually abused and uh, tortured, and I was left for dead in a commercial cooler. I'm combining everything for time's yeah. sake, but if people want to watch the story, it's it's on YouTube. We're uh, and it's in 15 different languages. It's called the Victor Marx story, yeah. and it tends to bring hope to people who've suffered, and it also brings insight into people who are not from that world. And uh, so we invite people to watch that. And yes, this new movie, Sound of Freedom, it's the number one movie right now in the u.s which it's so encouraging to me it's about tim ballard and you know him doing a rescue but it was done so well and jim caviezel played tim ballard uh and god's hand was in it's been very tough and again i tell people because some people are like well this that i'm like it it's it's hollywoodized there's you know it's yeah. dramatized it's it, but the bulk of it is what it is mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's absolutely. no way you can actually capture the horrors of being uh, trafficked, abused as a kid. Yeah. But this has really started the communication. And, um, you know, there's there's never lack. So I, I would say this. Most people um, don't really understand what sex trafficking is. Yeah. There's a lot of assumptions. But first, I would tell people, go see the movie. Uh, cause you can get a really heartfelt emotional connection to how kids suffer mm -hmm. and then the intensity of trying to recover people, uh, and kids. It's, it's very intense. So what would you say not to interrupt, but to just yeah. what would you say an appropriate age? I know maybe 18 and up. Um, I brought my 18 year old and it was, man, we didn't even talk the whole way home. Yeah. And so it, I, it's, you, you got to use wisdom on the, you got to use wisdom hey, for your child. It's, it's yeah. pretty impactful. And in that way, and then some people may not be comfortable True, seeing it yeah. if they've suffered, uh, True. trauma. True. So, you know, I laughed when people started asking me, what did you think about the film? And, and I finally said, I haven't seen it. Uh, oh, and funny. they're like, they're like, what, why? I said, well, two things. That's what we do. Yeah. Day in, day out. I mean, that, that's this is our life. We've been doing this for many years. So I, I don't need to see a, a story 
to motivate or inspire me or to educate me. It, right. It's we're living it. And the other thing is, you know, I was a victim. So some things that, you know, that's not entertainment to me watching right. a child suffer, but uh, chances are, and I told Tim this, I said, you know, I'll probably watch it in a private stream in my home, yeah. not a theater, but it, from everybody I've heard, it's just a phenomenal film that has started a conversation needed to be started. And you actually go, you're mainly targeting the Middle East, right? With ISIS and if I you would have to say, get permission yeah. from the government. No, I mean. No, okay. uh, uh, no, it's, I think that's what we're best known for Yeah, uh, our time in the Middle East and we're still there, but when you're recovering or rescuing kids from ISIS, that, that garnered a lot of attention. Yeah. And, um, you so be careful, yeah. Uh, what about yeah. Canada, Canada, or you guys are active here in the United States? We're here's where we're active. The Middle East, Southeast Asia, South of the border. And yeah. just more recently, Canada. Yeah. And when I say recently, like I just week. flew in. Yeah. yeah. I just, we just flew in on a private jet from rescuing a girl. Uh, and she's actually here with us being stabilized uh, before wow. the next transition. And I mean, that's literally hours ago. So what do you, uh, you get it, you get a tip that's verifiable and you have contacts then you can work through. Correct. And then, like, so my question is also, why wouldn't the Canadian government go and do that? Or the, are they just, this nope. particular case, and you know, um, and some things I won't share, but I, yeah, I can, can say yeah. this: this particular case, small town, yeah. uh, less than five thousand people, and when you have a small town, it can be very difficult to move the needle. Uh, so yeah. it, it takes an outside source sometimes to come in. I, I think Jason Aldean is talking about that recently. It is, yeah. try, try, try that in a small town. It, exactly. Country, so, yeah. so you, you know, for us, uh, we had a, uh, a key couple there that did all the undercover work for us, laid the ground, oh, got okay. us everything we needed, coordinated the, uh, the recovery. And then uh, my wife and I, actually just us two, normally we take different, it was just us two, wow. flew in. Did the recovery, got her, um, and it was this. It was the most fast and furious thirty six hours uh, that we've had in a long time. We, we actually got wrapped up at the border for six plus hours, not knowing if we were going to make it across. And uh, I, I would say this because uh, it was critical to get this girl out of the area and then out of the country because it's yeah. a monster. This dude's a monster. And when you when you encounter that the 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 trafficker, I mean, is there rules of engagement, or I mean, if they if they, you know, if they tend to want to stop you, are you able to take them out? I mean, I don't know how much you can say, and I know we got to be careful. Yeah, well, but. the uh, the rules of law, depending on what country you're in, okay. apply. Okay. Different countries, different laws. So you got to know so, your background, yeah, yeah, and you do you have to you work because um, some people. You know, if they're known to be a pedophile and hurting children, raping children, some countries, uh, they'll just shoot them. Yeah. I'll oh, just shoot them right in the head. Middle East. And it's like, yeah, yeah, bye. Yeah. Bury them, make them go away. Um, but the, to me, when you're, when you're taking care of a kid or a young person or a teenager, the, the smoothest operation is in and out. Yes. Yeah. Just in and out, undetected, in and out. Because the mission is to make safe the victim, right? Not engage the enemy. There, there's a justice piece for that later, and this is where some people get this mixed up because they think you know encountering the enemy is what you want. No, it's it's really not. You, you prefer not to mix the two up. So make safe the victim, right? Which is they could die in the crossfire, so to speak. You know, uh, uh, or, or traumatized. Uh, my gosh, or be killed before you even get yeah. there, or traumatized, or. So we, we had a car waiting for us, a very fast car so that when we got her, we could go move. And we did, man. I don't know how fast we were going, but it was in kilometers. And, uh, <laughs> it was, now, can you, we can you actually go into the house? The trafficker sees you and there's nothing they can do at that point. Or do you wait till they're kind of gone or the bathroom? It depends on what, it depends on what your local assets are. Surveillance and, so, uh, yeah. and, yeah, in this particular case, we had it set up where it was a neutral location to get and move fast. And I will say this. I just got to tell people this. 
you know, the amount of prayer needed for a proper execution, because what, what I want people to really understand, this is a battle between good and evil. Yep, absolutely. This is, I mean, you can watch Taken, you can watch Sound of Freedom, uh, Jason Bourne, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, because that's what people call us. But I will tell you this, it is a spiritual battle that's like a chest game. Mm-hmm. And one wrong move, it g- can get ugly. So we had we had literally in excess of a hundred thousand people praying for us. This whole op. This whole op. And we and I was trying to update and go and you know, it's like, oh my gosh. And I'll give you a great example. I know I was. Um, I saw your you know, you couldn't say much, but you mentioned Canada on Instagram and hey, it's gonna get real here. And it's like, you know, that's to encourage people to follow you and just pray. Pray, pray is our weapon right now. People say, Oh, there's there's nothing I can do. You can pray and fast, and you would watch what God does with humility. That's that's what people are missing yeah. out. Everybody wants the sexy part, you know, repel upside down out of a black hawk with a keyboard in your mouth. And it's like, folks, it's not that sexy. No. Trust me. You may get certain things. It's intense, not only for the whole situation, but the victims are typically unstable, typically yeah. scared to death. The break, uh, I, and I'll give you, I'll share one little insight. All the movement we did, we had to juke and jive, hotel, move to another one, just, you know, hours and hours of distance because the goal was to get her across the border with a private, and we had a private jet waiting. And when we finally did everything, everything, Exhausting. and we got, like I said, we got wrapped up yeah. at border crossing. We brought it, they brought us in the secondary, then they separated us. They actually were concerned that we were trafficking or mm. kidnapping her. Unbelievable. Which is, Yeah. And, and the victims and, at and, first aren't, you know, they're not, it's not like they're full of wisdom and talking. They're, they're, in, no, they're traumatized no. and, you know, they don't know who to trust, they are, who to trust, what to say. It, exactly. And this particular young gal had watched my film or video of me. Oh, that's good. what gave us glue. Oh, good. Cause she's like, wow. oh my gosh. And I'll tell you something that's just, uh, the Lord is, you know, we're wrapped up for like six and a half hours. And my biggest concern is her, not us getting arrested. Mm-hmm. Not is like, how long can yeah. she maintain? Maintain mm-hmm. six plus hours. They a victim will snap. Yep, and literally just go. It's all gone up. It's everything is bad. The God's grace was on this gal, this sweet gal, yeah. and she just stayed like that. I I couldn't, and she was like, they're coming to interview me. You know, and tell you, what do I say? I go, just tell them the truth. Yeah. Just say the truth. Yep. And so I'll tell you some fun that in hour four plus, you know, <laughs> they bring in two specialists at this point, they bring in two specialists and they're kind of sex trafficking agents for the U S government. Right. And they come in, he looks at me, the lead and he goes, you're Victor Marks. Oh, that's funny. And I'm like, yes, I am. He goes, ah, oh, I love the work you do, oh, man. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I've been to your website. He's like, brother, this is good stuff. Yeah, I, I said, can you help my brother yes, out? Because yes. I'm getting tired. Yeah. And I don't want to have to, you know, pop smoke from on high yeah. with people. Because then it shakes the whole system. Yeah. And, that uh, you know, people start getting phone calls. But he goes, yeah. And then he was just like. And he came back, and this was interesting. He goes, they don't believe that you and your wife would actually come here to do a rescue of one girl. Y'all. Yeah. Because it's you have a, I said, we were the fit. Honestly, we, we were the best yeah. fit for this. So, and they're, and on top of that, like, we made contact with the father of the victim, who's a vet. Oh, God. Who has extreme PTSD. Wow incapable of taking care of her yeah uh very poor not i mean just suffering and the the monster the predator taunted the dad yeah taunted the dad Mm -hmm. saying there's nothing you can do because he had groomed the daughter Mm -hmm. starting at 13 or 14 starts yeah it's how it starts and then her head's all messed up and he's abusing her and you know Trying to make her think it's love. It's a 53-year-old monster 
with the little teenage gal. So the dad, when our contacts there said, you need to know what's going to happen. And he looked up my name and he called them back and said, there's no way that guy is coming to Canada, this little town to see my daughter. And they go, but he is, it's not just him. It's him and his wife. They said, and when we made contact, we took a picture with his daughter. They sent it to him. They said he started crying because I, <laughs> I stepped into that place of protection and provision for his daughter. And that's what men should do, right? Absolutely. That's what dangerous medicine should do. Yep. It's like, I got your daughter. I, I know and I'm coming back for you. We're going to help you out mm -hmm. so you can get healed up and be in a position to be the dad you really want to be. But this service is up there are so poor. So you guys, and then the courage, I, I'll end with this, the courage of this gal. Yeah. Every step of the way, every log jam, every push point, like the jet lands, two pilots, uh, one of them is actually was with the Blue Angels. Mm -hmm. How's that? He was a, 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 one of the best guys in the world. And she's going, this is, this is overwhelming. I'm about to get on a plane. I don't. And she goes, I don't think I could do it. Oh, I'm, no. I'm scared. Oh. And anxiety started hitting her. Oh. And I just said, sweetie, you don't have to. Hmm. You literally don't have to. You're the one that makes the decisions. Just ask the Lord to help you make this decision. And then I shared some more things with her. And uh, then I got her dad's number, handed her my phone. She talked to him. She cried. And then he just said, just go with these people. Unbelievable. They're saving you. They're literally rescuing you. Because the guy is such a monster. The threat is he would kill her yeah. uh, because of the things he's told her. She boarded up in that jet. And, uh, you know, when we, I mean, is a fast jet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was it's a donor that provided it. That that see, and that's where people can help. Yes. It's like people don't understand. It's like it, it, if you support us monthly, 20 mm -hmm. bucks, an accumulation of stuff helps us buy fuel. Yep. Helps us do this. Helps us cuz I was sitting there thinking people don't understand how expensive oh, that trip I can even It is to do an operation. Yeah. And I mean so, so any little bit helps. Some people do a lot of bit, yeah. but it's not more important than the little bits together. That's what that's what I need people to know. Some people are just gifted to pray. Yep. I mean, it's the unsung heroes. Yeah, they just pray. Nobody's gonna know, hmm. but they have faith that their prayers are gonna help move the needle and open up pathways that otherwise would not. What's be open up? And it's a you know I've seen where you know how you guys allocate money, all, all ministries. And it's just, I think the, the money appropriation is, is pretty incredible. You know, not the Lamborghinis yeah. in the house. I mean, you guys live simple, you use the money for resources, yeah. but I, I've had a quick, and I know you got to go here. Um, but to just, to, uh, I got four minutes, four, we're um, doing good. But yesterday, you know, they said you just got back and I, I gave them the out to cancel, like, Hey, we can reschedule some other time. So just to your character to just want to talk about this issue. Um, what are the uh, two questions that will be done? The trafficker, uh, they, they probably don't get arrested in this case. Right, because the police weren't really involved, but God, God knows the final justice. But in this case, you know. So re yeah, regarding that, uh, remember, make safe, then stabilize. Make safe the victim. Stable. Phase two, stabilize. Phase three, we start the justice piece. Okay. So I literally, I'm getting off the, uh, the, the yeah. with us in four minutes, five minutes, I've got a call with. Uh, you know, my investigation team and we will do all the legwork. We will set up everything. I mean, everything Wow. it will find any dirt on this guy. He already spent three years okay. in prison for molesting a nine. Yeah. So we put together the target package. We present it to the local area DA or prosecutors and law enforcement. And, and then if they don't That's act like upon that, yeah. shame on them. It's a bad deal. And folks need to understand Depending on where you are, that's not. And now we have other ways to make the individual very oh, uncomfortable sure. yeah. in life. Yeah. So yeah. those are key, key, key things. The gray, well, let the me, gray let areas. Let me pray for you uh, because I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay Thank on. You. 
just for another 10 minutes and talk to people about how, how this, like Tim Ballard talks about, it starts with soft porn and then hardcore porn. And that's why we're getting so many, oh, so yeah. many why is this an epidemic in our country? It's a perversion. And the, ep- and the epidemic is child yes, absolutely. porn. Absolutely. I'm telling you right now, it's child porn that is fueling pedophiles. And if y'all remember to pray for us, the middle of August, we have a think tank that I put together coming together and with some very innovative, technological, unconventional ways to move yeah. the needle regarding child pornography. And Tim, I, we were, uh, Tim, I was texting him throughout the operation. He's like, I'm praying, Victor, I'm praying. Then he posted my, the, the, the yeah. rescue on his page. And I went, you know what? Not many organizations or no, people would right. do that in this space. Right. They're, they're so, it's yeah. just weird. And it's like, well, uh, people do the right thing, recognize. Yeah, you both, you guys right leave things. your egos at the door, which is so important. You know, thanks for that. So let me, let me pray it's real quick and then you can just click, to. you can click Thank your you. Uh, leave button and then I think I'll still be here. I'll get our media guy. Right. Well, Lord, I first, you. I just lift up the Victor Marks ministry. Lord, pray for protection upon them. God, protect Victor and his wife. And mm-hmm. I pray they're just, Re able to recoup from these events and just come back full of your spirit, even casting down the demonic realm in their thought process and their minds, their energy. Yeah, and you yeah. open doors that no man can shut. And we pray for this event in August that we will expose this unfruitful works of darkness and just help us do uh, mm. what we can only do from our vantage point, And that is pray and fast and call down heaven to help the little ones in this area in Jesus name. Amen. All right, my friend, I'll see you in amen. September. Thank you. Thank you. Looking right, forward. Thank you. All right. God bless you. you. All right, everyone. Victor Marks uh, was on. Um, I encourage you to follow him on uh, uh, the social media platforms. He's a really busy guy and uh, just a lot going on. But um, I, the only thing I wanted to comment on was a couple things with uh, with the movie. Um, it, it, it is hard. I had to, you know, I've, I've been um, with Tim Ballard's movie. I've been, you know, kind of struggling with this. I know it's, um, you know, I don't want to promote um uh, some of what's in it because it's it's pretty hardcore it's pretty hard to watch but at the same time we have to expose the unfruitful works of darkness so like victor said if you're sensitive to this uh maybe you're a victim or you work in that type of of industry you've seen a lot uh i, I would use wisdom and i, I personally I wouldn't have kids see it um but it, it's something i just get we got to get it out there and um what also happens is for me, what the alarming, the most alarming, I didn't realize sex trafficking. I thought maybe what a couple, couple kids a year. I didn't realize the scope, the width, the depth. I, 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 I can't even comprehend this type of lust and, and it just doesn't make a lot of sense. But then I watched something which I would encourage you to watch. I think it's from 2018 and I'm hoping to have Tim Ballard on uh, next month. His, his uh, contact uh, said to try them next month. Um, but uh, in one of his documentaries, I think it's on Amazon Prime. I can't pronounce it. It's got a funny name. I think it's in, I don't even want to say the country, uh, South Africa or something like that, where they rescue um, some kids. And he talks about interviewing so many people. And it just started with some pornography at home, um, some magazines. And now look at the internet. You know, it starts with just even Instagram and TikTok. You know, you you got to be careful filters and accountability. And like, for example, I would leave my phone out. My wife can access it anytime. We check our each other's accounts. We know our passwords. Uh, we have covenant eyes set up on our computers. You know, and even that though, you know, the enemy can work through things and it, it, those things won't protect you if the heart's not right. It has to start with the humble, repentant heart. And then you're able to get these extra precautions in place. So it starts with that. And then that's not enough. And then it opens up to, this and there's actually why a lot of people now are experiment, experimenting with same sex attraction who didn't really have that desire initially. It's because they keep feeding ungodly desires and watching things that are getting more perverted. Uh, the, the Bible would refer, refer to these things as abominations, and um, it just gets sin never stands still, it's not static, it's not you know, it, it's either growing. Or it's withering, depending on whether you're feeding or you're starving it. So a lot of these traffickers, and even many of you watching, you're you're maybe crossing a, a day dangerous line as you're you're feeding it and you're feeding it, and you know now it's not um, 
softcore, it's hardcore porn. Now it's just perverted stuff. I, when I did a, a message on pornography, I think you can watch it from a few years ago on YouTube, looking at statistics and a lot of the porn sites, I guess, are having, you know, uh, it'll, it'll, they'll tag the video like, um, you know, mom and stepson or dad and stepdaughter. And I'm like, why would somebody even I, like I, I, comprehending that, but then understanding that's the next step. And then that's not, that's the next step. And then that's not satisfying now. And then maybe a, maybe six, 15 or, and then 15. How about how 13 year old or 11 year old? I wonder what that looks like. And then, and then because the, the pornography is on a screen, then the desire keeps increasing. Remember, sin doesn't stand still. It either grows if you feed it or it starves and withers if you starve it. So anyway, that grows and now they have to physically, physically have that, the, the a, a smaller child. And it just, I, 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 it's hard for me to describe and talk about it because I, my, my, I, my old man rises up inside of me a lot of times, the old nature on, uh, you know, and I know uh, trying to find that balance of wisdom and love and grace and, and, but that's how it happens. And then if you add to that, the, um, the income level, a kid can be trafficked for years, sometimes three, four times a day versus you sell a bag of cocaine. It's gone where the child can be trafficked and God help us. God help us. Um, we are worse off than Sodom and Gomorrah. We need, here's what you can do. You can pray and you can fast. Set a time, miss a meal. I'm going to miss dinner for the sex traffic victims and I'm going to pray and I'm going to fast. I'm going to lift up Tim Ballard, Victor Marks, other ministries like that. And that, that can cause a spiritual tidal wave to come in and just expose this evil and bring revival to where actually the traffickers are repenting and they're turning their lives over to the Lord. And that's really what needs to happen. Um, so um, and, and so some of the trafficking is for money, you know, and that's why they're looking, they're looking, well, grooming is all about, you know, you meet a child, you're nice to the child and you try to, you're trying to, you have ulterior motives. That's what I mean by grooming. So you're not just being nice and then you're trying to eventually groom them to your side. And that's what just happened with what Victor was talking about. Um, and then the, uh, the, the trap, a lot of them just sell, sell the kids. It's money. I mean, just go grab a six year old at the park and you make $10,000. I mean, it's just, it's, it's mind blowing. So a part of me sees little hope because our government, especially with this current administration is, is so asleep at the will and could care less. Hollywood could care less because they're part of the problem. Remember, this is a spiritual battle. Light and darkness are colliding. Right and wrong are colliding. This is a spiritual battle. No wonder they want to silence the movie. No wonder YouTube and, 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 and other places want to try to shut down what Victor is doing. It's, it's the darkness loves the darkness and they will support the darkness. And it's the light really fighting against the darkness. So, um, couple things. Um, if you're on that path of sin, repent, kill it, cut it off, abort that sin, because when sin fully grown, it brings forth death. Cut it off, repent, fully surrender your life, remove the things that are pulling you down. Jesus said, remove your eye, remove your hand. If it's causing you to sin, if it's your phone, if it's your internet, uh, uh, contacts you need to get rid of, You extreme times require extreme measures to to make these changes repent get back into worship get back into fasting begin to starve the lust of the flesh be filled with the spirit of god god direct me guide me holy spirit i don't want to do this i need your help and as you're pleading and you're contending for what is right and you wrestle uh uh you wrestle towards righteousness is what i tell people you, you there's there is a wrestling involved there's a fighting the sin nature and uh it can't be done but um we need to nip it in the bud asap and we need to understand what's going on we need to pray for these people and um hope that add a little bit of insight on this incredible incredible topic that i i honestly can't even believe we are dealing with in our nation if you throw that in there to the lgbtq and the perversion and the indoctrination and the schools having child porn. Why aren't the school districts uh, going to jail? Some of these super superintendents and boards, board of directors, um, school boards, uh, they should, there should be criminal prosecution for allowing child porn into the schools. Bottom line, period, unapologetic in saying that. And uh, if you watch, I think it's still on Rumble. I don't know if YouTube removed it, but pastor rebuke school board. And you can see where I spoke at Lancaster, uh, actually, Los Angeles County School Board, 
and uh, told them, you know, they're allowing child abuse and it's a form of child abuse and they will held re- be held responsible. What about if a lot more of us showed up at school board meetings? Somebody orchestrated it and uh, what doesn't go to this one, another go to this one. And, you know, it's it's not all consuming, but we're, we're getting the churches mobilized and we're going and we're, we're bringing the light to this darkness and we're confronting this evil and this wickedness. It has to be confronted. And I, for one, I kind of stuck my head in the sand like, I don't want to talk about this. Oh, my. I can't even believe you know, we're dealing with this until, you know, I was, my eyes were open to a lot of what's really going on. So anyway, hope that helps. Uh, Idleman unplugged. Oops. Over this year and pastors unplugged. You can uh, subscribe to both of those. And sometimes, um, uh, this, you know, Idleman unplugged obviously is we, we do a lot more podcasts. Pastors unplugged. I just do one every now and then for pastors and kind of help them and, and give them some, uh, some spiritual insight, maybe and some wisdom after so many years of being in ministry. So anyway, hope that helps. Talk to you soon. Thank you. 